So this is how companies convince other people to sell their products for them. So this video is sarcasm and it's for entertainment purposes only. Yes, there have been companies who have been able to convince people to sell their products for them. If you want to know more, please keep watching the video. So you want to know how this works? It starts by them establishing a product. Yes, this could be anything. Healthy products are the rage right now. So some of them go for things like herbal tea, protein shakes, exercise equipment detox tea slimming tea and products like that some companies actually go for things like makeup skincare products or product that could help you glow or anti-aging creams and things like that some of these companies actually choose good products products that customers would want to buy that have good resale value while others choose products that are not so good and it's actually hard for people to resell this product the truth about it is the quality of the product really matters because if the product being chosen is actually of good quality it would have a good resale value and customers will want to buy it and it would have a good reputation driving in new customers but if the product being sold is not of good quality it wouldn't have good resale value and the problem is the people who buy this product from the parent company are stuck with these products and have to find a way to resell these products in order to gain their capital as well as make a little profit from it there are some essential skills that this company used to convince people to sell their products for them one of it is psychology skills so they are able to use psychology skills to study the mind and behavior of people in order to recruit people and convince them to sell their products for them and they also need marketing skills because they have to convince the people they are recruiting to sell their products for them of the value of the product because they have to present the products as something really valuable that customers would want to buy in order to lure these people into selling the products for them so now let's discuss how they are able to recruit people if you're liking this video so far please click the like button and leave a comment down in the comment section below because it helps boost the video and don't forget to share it with your family and friends now let's go back to our topic of discussion there are a lot of people who want to be entrepreneurs nowadays and they take advantage of this so they reach out to people online in person or in their place of work or on social events telling them that they could be entrepreneur without having the risk that comes with entrepreneurship because they already have a pre-established product and all they need to do is to buy this product in bulk then resell it to their customers they present this as a very good option because they've done the groundwork for them and they have a suitable product that is guaranteed to resell to customers some people consider this as a good option because they might not have to do the groundwork so they might not have to do market research think of the manufacturing of the product protection of the product think of packaging and assembling of the product thinking of the setup of the product or thinking about competitors they feel that someone has done all of this for them so it's actually a good idea to go ahead and buy these products from the parent company and help them resell these products of course with this train of thought they are not actually Actually thinking about the risk of actually engaging in this scheme because they didn't actually choose this product so they don't have any control on how the product is being made or the quality of the product and this might actually affect the resale value of the product you see companies who recruit people to sell their products for them convince them that they are entrepreneurs so we're going to call them entrepreneurs for now they guarantee them that these products are going to resell all they need to do is to buy the product off them as a parent company and go ahead to resell it and by reselling this product to their potential customers they are able to make a percentage as profit i think what these companies don't tell these people is that this is more beneficial to the parent company because they are able to sell out their stocks and they don't have to spend money on recruitment or marketing because they have people selling it for them already so all they need to do is keep buying these products and convincing other people to sell it for them so you see the advantage to the parent company it could also be advantageous advantageous to the entrepreneurs selling these products if they are able to resell these products and make profit but it strongly depends on the quality of the product because if it's not a good quality product people wouldn't buy these products they might be one-term buyers and they might not be returned customers and the entrepreneurs are stuck with a large amount of product that people don't want to buy and they've already bought it off the parent company so therefore they've invested a lot of money in these products these companies actually use other tactics 
tactics to recruit people they convince them that selling their product is actually a privilege and they're helping them achieve their dreams and ambition of being entrepreneurs and all they need to do is to invest in themselves and these are the psychological tools that they use to convince people to sell their products for them they also go ahead to tell people that by buying their products from them and selling it to their potential customers they are engaging in entrepreneurship some companies actually go ahead to form communities of these entrepreneurs forming different groups to encourage them to sell these products and convince them that they are part of a family who have one goal and one mission creating that sense of community to encourage the entrepreneurs to sell these products do not get me wrong engaging in this type of schemes might not actually be a bad thing as long as the relationship is mutually beneficial where the parent company sells this product to their potential entrepreneurs and these entrepreneurs in turn are able to sell these products to their customers and make both their capital and their profit but the thing is sometimes this don't actually work because the quality of the product is not up to the quality of other similar products in the market so the entrepreneurs are stuck with products that they cannot actually sell and the problem is you as an entrepreneur selling a product you have no control over might not be able to change anything about the product so you have no influence as it regards to the product quality packaging or any other thing related to the product so you have no input you're stuck with a product that you have no control over therefore reselling this product might not be easy some companies actually take this to the next level and convince entrepreneurs to introduce their family and friends forming some sort of pyramid scheme on how they are able to make profit by recruiting their family and friends if you want me to discuss this further please let me know down in the comment section below and i'll make a video on this topic there are other advantages for the parent company convincing other entrepreneurs to sell their products for them because they don't have to spend money in marketing or advertisements as i said earlier they could also charge people registration fees to actually become an entrepreneur that sells their product and they could make money from this there's also also the guarantee that they would always sell out their stock because the entrepreneurs are always buying the products if you have anything to add to this conversation please put your comment down below please let me know if you think this is a good practice or bad practice if it's advantageous to the parent company or it's actually more advantageous to the entrepreneurs please let me know down in the comment section below i also want to say thank you to everybody who subscribes to my channel and has liked and shared my videos thank you so much for the support if you're new here and you have not yet subscribed please 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 click the subscribe button below and also like and share my videos thank you so much and don't forget to click the notification bell so you always know when i upload thanks guys see you next week bye guys